One of the most common tests you're going to perform with any of your meters is a basic DC voltage test. Great for charging system voltage, battery tests, things like that. Now you can see I've put my meter to DC voltage. I plugged into my simulator here, I have it grounded, black lead again on the common, and the red lead leads to my battery output. Now the display automatically went to 11.20 volts or so. Now you can see down in the corner, I'm in the 40 volt range. Now if that voltage were in fact lower, the meter would understand that and automatically range. Now auto ranging is important. Most of the time it works for you, but there are some situations that it won't. Let me show you. We can move the leads up to our throttle position sensor. That's what I've got right up here. Now you can see what's indicated on the meter now. It automatically ranged down to the 4 volt range and it selected the closed throttle voltage value of 0.685. Now watch the display carefully as I open the throttle. It'll start to increase, but look, it went to OL momentarily. Now a lot of people might think that there's a problem in the throttle position sensor. Not necessarily. In the 4 volt range, before it switches to the 40 volt range, it'll go OL momentarily. Well, that could be interpreted as a bad TPS. Make sure when you range your meter, range it to a high enough manual range when you're testing things like a throttle position sensor. For instance, if the value is going to go outside the 4 volts, put it in a 40 volt scale. Let's do that now. We'll push the range button one time, takes it out of auto range, we're still locked in that 4 volt range. Now if we were to do it, we would lock it up to OL. You see how it says OL now? Okay, let's go up one more range. Now we're in the 40 volt range. You can see that if I sweep the throttle, I no longer get that OL indication. Now there's one other function that is extremely useful, and that's a data recording function called min-max. It'll record signals as fast as the 100 milliseconds, and in some of our meters as fast as 250 microseconds, which is down to 250 millionths of a second. That's fast. Well, let's go ahead and engage that function. We push the data recording function button called min-max. Now if I sweep the throttle, you'll hear it beep. It's taken a reading off of the, thro the throttle position sensor. I release it. Now to read the meter, I simply push the button. That's the maximum reading. That's the minimum reading. And if we want to measure an average, we can push it again and it gives me an average reading. In fact, the average reading is great on an oxygen sensor if I want to find out if I'm running rich or lean, obviously above 500 millivolts or below.